Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Christian Nicole and thank you for joining me for another video. So today I'm going to talk you through how to do um, blow dry hair, African American hair, black hair, kinky hair, blow dry it straight. Um, we just got done shampooing and I just kind of towel dried her and I'm going in with my Miracle Milk by Mazani. It's a deep conditioner, no it's a leave-in conditioner actually. So I'm doing that, I'm doing that and then now I'm also, I put in the, um, like silk serum uh, there it is right there and I'll link it in the description so you guys know what to do but those are the two main things I do after I shampoo and right before I blow dry I put a light amount of serum because too much oil will weigh down the hair and then I do make sure I put quite a few sprays of the leave-in conditioner because her hair is very thick and we want to make sure we get the scalp the roots and the ends get everything all nice and saturated but not overly saturated because like I said too much products can make the hair stiff and cause build up prematurely so now I'm going in and I'm sectioning the hair and the way I'm doing it I'm just making like six sections with a rat tail comb I'm going to go ahead and detangle it with my um, detangle brush and then twist up each section separate and twist up each section section so that way um, I when I blow dry it all the hair that I'm not blow drying is out of the way and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, clip it up out of the way yep more detangling when you detangle hair you always want to start from the ends and work your way up to the roots now I had already detangled her at the bone so she was pretty much good to go so now I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry and I usually work um, from the ends to the middle and sometimes from the middle to the ends and then I work my way up to the scalp but you just want to make sure that you have like tension um, because the tension between the um, round brush or the blow dryer brush and the blow dryer will help get the hair straight almost as straight as it could be um, when you still press it get it really really straight like that so now her hair is more straight than afro kinky see the left side from the right side there's a big difference and that's just because of the proper application of heat and you just keep doing that and sometimes when I get close to the scalp um, I get a little uncomfortable and I go ahead and use the setting on cool or warm just so that I can make sure I don't um, burn my clients because um, that is very high heat which it does what it's supposed to do it does a really good job so just work your way down the hair shaft just go down over and over and over and over and sometimes the hair may take like a lot more detangling depending on how thick the hair is or you know what the hair has been through but just take your time when you're detangling it so that um, you don't have to go back through and detangle it once you start blow drying <clears throat> okay so yep I'm just gonna <sighs> I know y'all hear these doors opening and closing these kids need to lay down y'all <laughs> this is crazy but this is it so if you have kinky hair or even biracial hair or very very thick hair and you don't really know where to begin this is what I would do get a really really powerful blow dryer a good round brush or a good detangling brush and just do what I do see that and I don't get tired um, I actually love doing hair so this to me is a walk in the park compared to other things that I um, do with my clients she has a lot of hair and last time we trimmed her hair also and this time we're gonna trim her hair again she had a lot of dead ends and uneven split ends and stuff so we went in later and trimmed her hair because I have been doing her hair for a long time and she had been wearing weaves and stuff and just you know sometimes people just aren't ready for a trim you know that's a whole mental thing you got to prepare for so um, I would just do her hair and her hair you typically was braided up and her hair is like long and thick, thick forever like I've known her for a long time so anyway getting back to the point I'm just going in 
and blow dry until I feel like it's straight, number one. And most importantly, you have to make sure that it's dry. If when you finish blow drying somebody's hair, you feel cool spots like cold or damp, then that means the hair is not completely dry. And what happens if the hair is not completely dry? When you go into flat iron it or silk press it, you will hear a sizzling and popping noise, which is not ideal. You don't want to burn the hair. And especially with a flat iron already, it's already getting high heat with that and the blow dryer. So you don't want to go in and burn the hair. Just make sure you get it absolutely dry. And I will say this, when the hair is moving, when it's like less poofy and it's moving, like when the wind blows it or whatever. See that? How the hair has a lot of movement, how it's like light and airy and it's kind of separated. That's how you know that the hair is dry and you're ready to move on to the next section. See that how the hair just moves, kind of bounces. So I'm about ready to start the next section soon enough.
So, yep, we're still blow drying. Notice how I'm using the brush, the paddle brush, to pull the hair from the roots and grip it and stretch it out. That's the word I want to use. I'm using the brush to kind of stretch it out, stretch out the hair as I blow dry it. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, obviously, if you're at the 13 minute point, the reason why this video is so long is because there are a lot of people that are new to cosmetology or that are just have taken their hair into their own hands or um, one one type of guest that I get often throughout the year is I'll get I'm just gonna say it, I'll get like a white mom and a black daughter or an interracial kid coming in because the mom doesn't really know what to do with it she's tired she really is not used to handling the hair and um, this I believe that this video will just help so um, I believe that a lot of us can learn by repetition and this visual repetition will help build confidence um, in this area of blow drying. Once you do it a couple times, it gets easier and easier, but like I said, you have to take your time really detangling it for it to be this smooth of a blow dry. Sometimes if you, do, well, whenever, if you don't detangle it properly, then you'll notice that the brush will get snagged and the blow dryer will take longer. And also that the person that you're, that you're blow drying will also have like breakage, um, you know, and knots and things like that. And you don't want to do that. So if you detangle it really good before you start blow drying, the blow drying should be a breeze. Okay, so I had the hair in this section previously twisted. So I took the twist down and then um, I made sure to 
to make sure that the ends were still detangled and I work my way from ends to root usually the front quadrant of this the um hair like the hair that's in front of the ear gets drier must more fast much more quickly I'm sorry guys I'm kind of tired um so it takes much less time to um completely dry whereas the back section where the hair is more dense and fuller and thicker takes a lot more time see that that is so easy I know you can do it if you try you also want to get a really good blow dryer if you're using like a standard over-the-counter dryer your blow dryer your blow dry session may take a very very long time because it's not packing a punch with the heat and the power you need kind of like an industrial blow dryer so I would check like I think Cosmoprof um Sally's is a good place to get it you want to avoid like Walgreens and Walmart those like Remington and Revlon blow dryers just don't do it so look at this looks like we finished and this is her hair if the afro is laying down and it's smooth and it's moving look you can comb through it then you have successfully completed a blow dry session and that's a small tooth comb that's not a wide tooth comb that's a small tooth comb I'm using to comb and part the hair out and the next video is going to be how to silk press or how to silk press or flat iron um, African American hair so that way those of you who want to learn step by step and I might include the shampoo or just the flat iron, I'll depend, but it's going to be another long form video just so that you guys can get a really good understanding, like visually, um, how it goes, what it's supposed to look like, how it's done. Because um, I know some of y'all really want to learn and you're not going to be in school and you kind of maybe don't have the know how. Um, so I'm going to share with you how it's done to make your life a little easier. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.
Okay, so we want to emphasize brushing out the hair, detangling from the ends first, working our way up to the middle of the hair, and then the root. And um, once the hair is completely detangled, you can begin to blow dry in a downward motion. Um, see how easy that is? And the more you do it, the less time it takes. And that just depends on, like I said, your experience. And then everybody's hair is different. So somebody's hair probably dries really fast. And you could get them finished in a few minutes. Whereas somebody literally might take 20, 30 minutes. Because of how much hair they have. And I don't think I've had anybody. No, I have one client. Her hair is super thick. And I think it takes about an hour to blow dry her like everything takes almost an hour like shampooing her takes an hour detangling probably takes quite a while so our silk press section sessions um you know like a standard a standard like really basic silk silk press session should take about an hour and 30 minutes mm, for me for me my clients typically have a lot of hair but my one client she has so much hair that I mean we need about two to three hours to do her hair um because we have to make sure since it's so long and she does not want to trim okay we gotta blow dry every strand of hair because if it's not dry if like just one of one section of hair is just slightly damp or just a teeny tiny bit moist then when you try to flat iron the hair the hair will sizzle and it will fray out instead of being flat smooth and uniform so it's super important to get the hair 100% dry. So if it takes 10 strokes or 40 strokes, just blow dry the hair and go back, go back to the neck, which is the back part of the hairline, the bottom, like right at the neck area and run your fingers upward up the head to make sure you don't feel any cool spots or wet spots. You want to make sure the hair feels room temperature or hot. Um, but if it feels cold, damp, and maybe slightly wet, you got to go back over that section because your silk press is going to be no good. You have like one side of the head that's completely smooth and beautiful and the other side is just like looking like you got struck by lightning. So yeah. And you want to, like I said, you want to blow dry the hair and make sure you can get it as straight as possible. And the way to get it super straight is to make sure when you um, blow dry, you grip that hair with the paddle brush from the root. And you pull it a little bit and get as close to the root um, while you're pulling it. And that will give you a really, really straight hair while you're blow drying it. And you, like I said, you have to be really patient with this process because it can take a while.